I'm speaking with Matt Labarge of Happy Feet Plus. Hello, Matt. What are we going to talk about today? Hey, Jeff. Well, um, I think we were, you mentioned the other day you had some questions about Birkenstock for me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Birkenstock seems to be the go, the must-have shoe these days. Please yes. explain why. Ah, okay, great question. It's something that we're hearing a ton of these days from our customers especially. So um, one of the main things to know about Birkenstock right now is a lot of the, the current popularity and the, the, the discovery of Birkenstock that people are making has come from the world of high fashion. Um, that has kind of filtered down over the last couple of years, started about 2012, 2013, um, and Birkenstock is just everywhere now. So one thing that we're seeing, though, uh, is that, I don't think, and, and most experts in the industry don't think, that Birkenstock is going to be one of those flash-in-the-pan um, type of happenings out there that they're just around for two or three years and everybody buys them and then they, they just fall off the face of the earth. Uh, so I don't really think it's a true fad that way right now. And the reason why I don't think that and what really sets Birkenstock apart, this is just one that I, I keep shoes everywhere in my office, so I happen to have this around my desk, what really sets them apart is their footbed. And I'm going to turn this in such a way that hopefully you can see this great contour here underneath the medial arch. That's that long arch that runs down the length of your foot. Uh, we always hear about support in shoes and why that's important to protect against things like plantar fasciitis, uh, misalignment in the, the lower skeleton and throughout the spine. Um, this has... This classic Birkenstock footbed has some of the absolute best support of any shoe out there. Medial arch support to keep you from over pronating or over supinating. Metatarsal arch support right across here. And this is an arch that doesn't often get touched on in most shoes. Uh, this arch is runs across the foot, just behind the ball of the foot. Uh, they even have some very nice uh, transverse arch support out here. There's a, there's a little bump right here that might be kind of hard to make out on the screen. but. Here's a, there's, you have a small arch in your foot that sits right on the outside here. Birkenstock even hits that up as well. Um, the other thing about these, out, outside of just outstanding, long-lasting, all-day support, is it's a cork and jute footbed that is, um, that's re, these are resolable, they can be repaired, and these things mold to your feet. And if you wear them for, uh, usually just over the first couple of weeks, people really feel these getting even more and more and more comfortable until they just totally... Uh, you get these, you get these nice little um, divots underneath the toes, and the heel forms to your heel, and these things just become—they they feel like you know slipping into an old bedroom slipper after you've worn them for a while. So, long story they short, customize themselves. Yeah, they—they they really kind of do. You know, it's not like memory foam where they're going to form instantly, but they—they uh, they form over time. They last a long time. Incredible support. What we're finding is that they're not going to be a fad, I don't think, because. When people slip into these, they don't want to wear anything else after they've worn these. So that's why we think that their popularity is really going to continue for quite a long time. Matt, thank you. Thank sure. you. I Absolutely. understand. Okay. <laughs> Good talking with you. You as well. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Really appreciate it.